hello friend welcome to tech advice channel so friend in this video actually i'm going to show you that uh, how can you install airflow on your system like windows system and without docker basically so uh, for this process uh, we no need docker to install uh, airflow so if you are watching this video first time so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for new my new videos so let's start uh, what is the process we need to follow so let's start the process uh, for installation so first of all uh, we have uh, some uh, list actually here i have some list uh, or stays step basically which one i have uh, prepared for you so first step basically uh, i can say here control panel and then program features and we have to turn on the uh, or enable the windows subsystem for linux <clears throat> so let's uh, go to the control panel and uh, from there we have to just uh, turn on the windows uh, subsystems uh, for the linux so let me change it to small career yeah uh, so we have uh, hmm, yes uh, here yep yeah. program and features so then to left right corner use a left corner actually you can see the left top corner we have a uh, turn windows features on or off okay so when i click this one so we have this some um, list you see here so scroll down and you see here uh, we have a windows subsystem for linux we just need to tick like enable and we have to do okay click on ok so once we click on ok then it will be uh, you know uh, it's, it's, it's required some features to uh, uh, own on that so windows subsystem for linux so it automatically basically search the required file and then automatically will, will setting up for your system so sometimes it take a bit time like one two minutes so it will apply the changes so let's wait a bit yeah it's done so now i uh, need to restart so now uh, we have to restart our system so let, let me restart my system now uh yep uh, okay so okay so after uh, restart you see here we have to go to step number two so here basically we have to install ubuntu uh, for windows store from Windows Store and then restart basically. So I have to just write here uh, on Google Ubuntu download. Then from there also I just uh, download uh, download Ubuntu desktop and just click on that. Yeah, accept. Uh, yep, yeah, accept this one. And then we have a uh, Ubuntu 20.04.3 LTS. So this one you can just download. Okay or uh, or you can just uh, go to one thing also uh, you can just open the microsoft edge uh, browser and then from there also you can just go to the store uh, and store you can open, uh, download from there also so it will it will just uh, mm, yep uh, so it will downloading so depending on the internet so it's basically take time a little bit so i just uh, skip uh, this portion so uh because it will take a long time and then video will be long so that's why i just uh, uh, skip it and then i basically we have to just install that this uh, second step and then once i install this one then i have to go to the step number three so step number three is basically install and update the pip so while uh, the downloading process is uh, going on so i just uh, skip this video this part so uh, once you download and then install then you can just uh, come to the step number three so here uh, i have the already installed uh, ubuntu because you know i skip this portion because it will take a bit time so that's why i skip it so you guys can download it easily uh, and install so now i have to go for the install step number three so step number three is basically install and update uh, pip so for that uh, basically i have written here should do app get install software so for one two three four uh, four option i have did because why uh, if i directly um, uh, install uh, the pip uh, so sometimes it's up like you know uh, the re uh, repository and then some update also is uh, it's required so that's why i want to do all this um, uh, sudo uh, part so first part is basically let me do the sudo app get uh, install so yeah see this one i did already you see here uh, i already did first one then i have to do the uh, next one so one by one i'm doing uh, so basically the four uh sudo i have to do uh, so you see here already it's installed so it's already present uh, while i, I install this one so hmm, so there is a good sign 
so i just in case uh, in case you know um, if uh, there is a, any 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 uh, requirement is uh, for the uh, version or for the um, configuration so it's necessary so that's why i'm doing this one so uh, apt uh, add uh, repository universe okay uh, now update and then yeah you see here's updating okay so that's why you need you see here uh, some uh, some packages basically updating uh, so once i update uh, uh, this one uh, so it's it's taking a bit time okay yeah it's it's updating the package so many package basically it will hmm, update so that's why it's taking a bit time so here after the uh, update basically then we can install python uh, then we do the python pip and once uh, this process done then i think we go uh, for the next uh, process step number four so here you see that uh, we have already updated all the package so now i do the do the last one okay so this one basically the install python uh, pip so let me do this one uh, just enter okay so here uh, python is installing uh, okay so basically okay so python pip is not uh, no install standard so here they mentioned that uh, pip 3 so i have to do the pip 3 python 3 pip so okay so here i have to do the python pip uh, 3 sorry oh let's take fourth okay so it will be uh, python 3 python 3 pip 3 then it will be a work okay yep so basically uh, before i written the python pip uh, pip that uh, one we have to mention the version uh, pip3 so yeah do you want to continue yes i want to continue yep okay yes okay so now you see that connecting and downloading yes yeah, so now in installing some package also for python so it will it will also take uh, some time depending on the internet as well as uh, your system configuration so some time uh it will it will early finish so uh, once uh, this uh, installation finished then i have to go to the step number four so here yeah, almost uh, i think almost uh, completed okay let me let me skip this portion because you know this one also some many packaging uh, packages basically install and unpackage also so uh, i think i can skip this portion okay okay i skip it already and uh, here okay done already so you can see here all the package already uh, installed so now i have to go to the uh, step number four install airflow so install for install airflow basically um, you see i have uh, one one uh, code actually export uh, slack if we uses stacks unicode this one i actually export uh, so if it is required for you so you can just uh, do it so i just skip it because uh, uh, if it is required then you can apply that one so now i have to go to for the next process like uh, pip install apache airflow okay so once i in install the apache airflow then i can i can just initiate the db so let me let me just install the uh, uh, airflow uh, install apache 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 airflow okay okay so yeah here it is okay so now i you see that uh, basically once i got uh, done the apache installation then i have to go to the next process so i'm just installing uh, apache airflow now so it's also taking some time uh, then after that is finished because depending on the uh, internet connection so it will, it will take a bit time so once once, once it will be finished then i think um, we can go for the next process so yeah it's it's downloading it's downloading it's downloading some uh, uh, package basically it's downloading some package and once this second okay so this one uh, done also and why i'm why i'm skipping this portion because you know uh, it's taking a long time because uh, many packages and packaging so you can guys have done uh, done this one easily so now i need to initialize the db uh, okay so once i initialize uh, the db then it will be uh, we can just go to the next to uh, uh, run the web server because we have to run this uh, environment into a server so here you can see that airflow web server basically i'm, I'm running my server uh, on this location you see uh, it's running already well 
uh, friends uh, one thing i can show you that okay here i just skipped some portion because you know once it run the code so it will basically run some time so that's why i skip it uh, so here um, yeah my defender actually i have to allow is access yeah so allow it okay um, okay allow it okay so allow access okay done so now um, now once 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 i uh, run the web server on my uh, local uh, server basically then i can check also that okay uh, it's it's running or not so here uh, we have some process using system automatically run the process uh, you can see we have run the local server so basically uh, if if, if some system is basically uh, automatically assigned for the admin user so you can just uh, log in your uh, browser with your local server like local local um, address uh, then you can you can just automatically log in with your airflow but some case in some cases i have seen that okay uh, for my case also i have seen that okay it's not automatically log in by admin account so you can see here that uh, it's not login uh, by admin account so i can log in uh, with the local host so i'll show you in, in our next video that okay uh, what is the uh, need to do for this configuration that how can you add your admin account so but for uh, for now actually i have given to you some uh, an admin account user code should do add user username or something like that so uh, you guys can uh, just um, use this code i will give all this code into description so you can just go and then you can get it uh, easily done so i just keep it because on the next video i'll show you that okay how can you add your user okay so i already added uh, admin user and then here you see that we have a uh, uh, airflow uh, on my local system it's running so once i run this uh, like once i uh, refresh the page i can see that okay many uh, dag already running because it's automatically assigned in the um, airflow environment so basically uh, in here uh, i have to do some process more because you know now, now my uh, environment is already set up now i have to assign my dag folder where i need to that upload the file so that one i need to do so for that i just show you that okay which file or which folder basically is already assigned so um, just stop it uh, the server yeah uh, just me shutting down okay yeah so now i show you uh, that uh, what basically where basically drag folder is assigned so now i just create one folder in my c drive okay now this folder basically i already did, did the setup but i now show you that okay how can you set up for this DAG folder so basically you just create a DAG folder in the c drive and then now you go to the set uh, in ubuntu uh, 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 windows and then you can see i show you that okay in the um, root basically what contain and what uh, program file is already already assigned there so i just go to the uh, cd dot 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 okay mm, yep uh, so basically i have to uh, just go to the remove the root yep mm, remove the root okay so now i have to go to the, the ls okay you can see here one thing mnt so mnt basically let me go to the mnt cd mnt so yeah now i'm uh, in mnt uh, okay sorry not ls uh, so here basically i have to go to that uh, sorry uh, okay sorry uh, here i have to in mnt basically i have to go to the c drive and c drive and now i ls2 so now you can see in my c drive automatically dag which one i created automatically showing and all the folders automatically is uh, readable by the airflow okay so once i create the dag folder so it also readable by the airflow uh, environment uh, and and also now i show you that how can i assign the folder path okay so let me go to the uh, again again to the uh, root okay so now i'm in the root and then now ls you see in the root basically we have a one folder is called uh, airflow so so let me go to the uh, basically airflow and in the airflow we have seen that okay config airflow configuration file the first one so in the configuration file we have to assign the uh, path of the tag folder so uh, let me just uh, go to nano yeah nano here yeah so nano once i do the nano here i can you, you see the first option is tag folder is uh, slash mnt slash c slash tag so once this one you assign so automatically when you upload any file into the tag folder so auto that file automatically edit uh, uh, access by the airflow environment and then you can have a look at uh, that one so uh, so now uh, i just uh, out from this yeah so now one thing i just do cd dot dot yeah airflow okay now cd root 
mm, oh, sorry already I'm, I'm in the route already okay clear okay uh, so so now basically I write a simple code for you guys to have a look that okay how can it um, so into the airflow uh, and uh, how can it run basically so I uh, let me go to the DAG folder in the C drive and here I just uh, copy this one uh, and I just rename this one okay that's one I give the test uh, three okay test three and then uh, I just open it with the uh, idle okay okay so here also I just keep a uh, name different okay uh, task three that uh, test three test three yeah okay and this one also I give a uh, test uh, project okay and rest you can see here i have just only one dependency like no, no any dependency basically so i just save it and then okay it's, uh, now i need to initialize my db so basically uh, uh, you you just uh, this this uh, file when you upload then after five minutes or uh, five six minutes basically or five second basically so uh, sometime five second basically so it's also uh, update or uh, actually update in the airflow but you have to uh, sometime initialize your uh, db uh, because uh, sometimes it's not uh, readable and your db is basically is not initialized so that's why it's not uh, readable by uh, airflow so i already initialized my uh, db so now i just uh, again again uh, uh, do the web server okay uh, where i can see basically this one is a local server so uh, i just do the port already 8080 so now my uh, server is running up so you can see here now once it will be done then uh, automatically i can just log in and go and can see have a look okay so yes it's running yeah now i if i go no okay yeah just a minute wait yeah so let me just uh, refresh my airflow in my local uh, browser so yes here you can see i have a test tree already so and let me go to the inside and then i can open just code so once i see the code so here you can see that I have the same code what I written test three and test project. Okay, so this is the sample way. Actually, this is a sample one also I have did. Uh, so you guys can uh, write a multiple uh, dependency code. So uh, in our in my uh, later video, so I'll show you that. Okay, how can you uh, create a data pipeline for your uh, some project? So I'll show you that how can you create that one. So you guys, the, this one is all about that how can you install your Airflow on your Windows system without Docker. So if you guys like this video and if you guys have some suggestion or some comment for this video so you can just uh, comment by um, in the comment box and if you need some su uh, suggestion and if you have also suggestion so you can just provide that one too so thank you friend for watching this video thank you very much